Man, I love Lovecraftian horror. Can you believe just how much he's influenced our modern media? Bro, you like... No, Lovecraft was super racist, right? Racist? No, he couldn't be. His work is so influential. Surely someone so influential could not be racist. Come on, Shadows Over Innsmouth, one of his most famous stories? Like, it's all about the dangers of breeding with other races. Or maybe he's making a point that uh, making deals with fishmen might be bad. Ever think about that? The Call of Cthulhu, one of his other most inspirational stories, ends with the main character being afraid of every non-white person because they might be part of a murder death cult. Maybe Lovecraft just... Lovecraft said Jews need to be muzzled and said this about Adolf Hitler, and I quote, I know he's a clown, but God, I like that boy. Okay, so he's had some really bad takes, but but that doesn't mean... Frank, just, just Google the name of the cat. Yeah, if it's cat, I don't see how bad that could be. Okay, okay, so you're right. Lovecraft was racist, xenophobic, and had some odd ideas when it came to feline names. But that doesn't change the fact that his writing was inspirational to so many works that have surpassed his own. And I think, I think, it's possible to separate the work from the man. It's possible to enjoy Lovecraftian horror without enjoying Lovecraft as a person. Whatever, man. You can like the work of racists all you want, but I, for one, am above that. So, is, is that what you two do? Just rent a car and drive around? <laughs> Surprising people. <laughs> Cosby, such a card. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell, otherwise, you'll be visited by horrific Lovecraftian monstrosities in your sleep. I've been Tongue of Legend, signing out.